Hello and welcome. Today we're playing Kaiju Wars. You know, that is Godzilla versus King Kong over there. The one where King Kong gets brought in on the balloons. That movie's crazy. But yeah, it looks like it's got a bunch of classic kaiju movies over here. Are these what I'm supposed to click? But yes, we're playing Kaiju Wars. I have no idea what to expect right now. Well, okay, this looks like what I'm supposed to click. Oh, map editor. You can do map editing stuff on here. Okay. Kaiju Wars. Act one. Loatio City? The war begins? A sinister meeting. Xenophon progress report. Master, preparations are complete. Four units are combat ready along with necessary support personnel. Several strategic plans are ready for overview. Only four? Simulations show four units will to be sufficient with an 87% success rate. Enemy formations wield outdated weaponry incapable of significantly damaging our units. Expected campaign duration? Five acts, estimated 50 missions. In local time, please. 10 weeks before total capitulation. First target? The mega city of Floatia. Or Flo Floatio. Population 1.2 billion. That's a ridiculous city. 1.2 billion city. Technologically advanced and lacking in military. Oh my god, that's a bad combo. High priority targets. One Dr. Emma Wagner. Out of, out of 1.2 billion. This, this one girl, this one poor girl is who, who they're going after. And a new major sending profile summary now. Or new mayor. Calculating threat level. The doctor's views are disturbing. Switching to strategic plan nine. Do we get to play as the doctor? Again? We never get to use plans one through eight. Affirmative, Xenophon. Begin your mission. Dr. Wagner must be prioritized. As you command. I wonder, did they pay for the rights to be able to show those movies in the back? They must have, right? Okay. Wait, let's see. Okay, so... Those just seem random. But here we got... Something that looks like Rodan flying out of a volcano mountain. A tank. Meeting. Gorilla and... Not Solid Snake. Definitely not Solid Snake. Okay, in Kaiju vs. Kaiju. Kaiju blow up tower. Kaiju roar. Act 2, Bombay City. The scientific method. Okay. What is this? Is this a joke? Is this a meme? I don't know what this is. Is that a dev? Is this the guy that made the game giving us a weird look? All right, crazy lady with uh, something. Shadowy figure, man with eye patch. That's two characters with eye patches now. Person with sunglasses. He looks at person with headband. Lightning storm, big monster. Person with fingerless gloves. No, is that a shadow? Is that not fingerless gloves, but a shadow? I think that's fingerless gloves. That's probably like a dramatic shot of them putting on fingerless gloves, where like, you pull at the cuff. That's probably what they're doing. Or maybe not. I can't tell if it's gloves from this shot. It's, it's gotta be. Uberlin City, the menace below. Okay, deep sea monster. Okay. She looks out the vehicle, sees it. The person kind of lounges on a tank. This guy's looking at us weird again. Uh, they shoot it. It doesn't like it. 
It's like got it on its back like it's a like it's a cool guy and it's like a bat. Okay. Is the gorilla our friend? Is this King Kong logic? Is he a good guy? Money, monkeys, and mayhem. What is going on? Am I supposed to like select one of these? Like, was I supposed to back here? Back in act one, was I supposed to click on something to start the campaign? A sinister meeting, Loisho City. Oh my God, I am. I was supposed to click on this next one. <laughs> all right, we're figuring out. I don't know what's going on, all right? But yeah, the year is 20XX. Sprawling megacities cover much of the earth, replacing nation states as centers of political power. The city of Floatio is famed throughout the world for its cutting edge technology, shimmering skyscrapers, and extremely long office hours. Powerful waves crash against the island's city's majestic coasts, and picturesque Mount Fumi is a popular site for tourists. You have been elected mayor. Oh, we're the mayor of this magnificent metropolis, so we're not the scientists, we're the mayor that they, they mentioned. You are looking forward to a peaceful term of long city council meetings and discussions of zoning bylaws. No, oh, it took it away from me. I took too long. Bring it back. Read that. We read that. Let's just appreciate the art right now. Like this looks like this thing looks more like something on a rampage, especially with what's going on right here. Definitely rampage-esque. You have been elected mayor. That's right. That's right, zoning bylaws. And then, after all, that's what you're playing in this game for, isn't it? Is that all it said? Is that all I missed? I think that's all I missed. It was. <laughs> all right, maybe that wasn't worth it to sit through it a second time, but whatever. Dead Meat Gulch, here we come. Very stylized, this game. Dead Meat Gulch, out in the boonies where nothing ever happens. Oh my god. Hopefully, I figure this out quick. Mysterious man with eye patch and headband says, Welcome to Dead Meat Gulch Army Base, your, uh, your highness? Your honor? Type your job title. Ex-mayor. No, example. Mayor Grand Poobah Daring Leader. Type your honorific. Example, your worship, your excellency, your coolness. Oh man, I don't got any of this prepared. All right. Mayor Grand Poobah Daring Leader. I'm tied. I'm, I'm wondering. I kind of want to pick Shao Kahn's title. I kind of want to be a Khan. Um. But he, but like. That should work, right? I mean. Shao Kahn really was an emperor as well. Sure, we'll put emperor. And then, uh... Honorific. So, tight job title emperor, honorific Khan. Should I just put, should I put actually Shao Kahn? We'll just leave it at Khan. Whatever, let's move on. Aha, Khan. That's what we're supposed to call the Emperor. That's right, that works. Well, you can call me Ma Major. No match for being the Emperor, obviously. Believe me, I won't try to take your job. 
I get sleepy even thinking about public transit planning. Well, you're here to inspect our army base, right? Let's get to it. Uh... Start the tour. Right away, you're a con. Wait, that's a warning siren. Been so long since I heard one. Don't even know what it means. You should probably hear those regularly when you're doing like routine checks to see if they work. But uh, but all right, blast. Where's Commander Carl when you need him? Let's get to the command bunker and see what's up. Seismic activity detective, incoming kaiju. It's probably just an armadillo or some kid playing with a drone. Let's get an idea of where it is. Click the flashing radar icon in the lower left. Picking up seismic activity in this area. Picking up seismic activity in this area. Uh, near our east base, Commander Carl was driving around over there, I think. Click the army base and deploy our missiles. I click, I deploy. Only cost three dollars. Or, or three, um, three money. Great. <laughs> yep, three money used. Alright. Now click end turn. I end my turn. There he is. Economy. Mom, look out the window. It's as big as a building. That's the biggest and meanest armadillo I've ever seen. Let's blast it. Left click our missiles. Right click the red tile next to the monster. Um, I think we're gonna need a bigger base. Left click, left click the central foundation by the road and build an army base. Okay. Now click the foundation by the river. Ground units can't cross water, so let's build an airfield there. Bases can't deploy units the turn you build them. So click end turn and hope. Okay, he has destroyed that base. Because of course he would. Economy! Did that thing just crush Carl? Goodbye, Carl. It destroyed our troops and buildings just to, by stepping on them. I wonder where he'll head next. Click on the monster now. He's going right for there. Looks like the monster will always move towards the closest building. That's our army base. Above the monster are its life bars. You can see a big four beside its current life bar. That must be its movement speed. Okay. Luckily, we can repair units for cheap. Click your army base and repair our missiles. Click your airfield and deploy a fighter. Units can't move the turn they deploy, so click and turn. Do we get in-flight service? Was that what that said? Here he comes. Oh, the economy. The economy will save us. Yep, sure enough. He moved four spaces. Attack him with your units. Left click to select, and then right click to move.
Yeah, we slowed him down, but it's not enough. He'll still reach our base with his speed of three. I know, we need tanks. Deploy a tank at the army base. Deploy another fighter, then end your turn. Okay, but he was slowed again. Yes, good, the economy. You, did you see that? Tanks have the slow ability. It cost kind you an extra movement to destroy them, so the tank saved our base for now. Repair your tank, move your fighters, and deploy our last fighter. Load. We're doing it. He's pretty low on HP. Yes, I'd like to buy some house insurance. I regret everything. Landlord, I want a refund. Damn, those two suburbs are equally close, so it's random which he'll head for. We need to deal damage faster to stop him. Position your fighters to attack while right in the possible paths. Okay. Why? Fighters deal two counter damage when stepped on. Move those fighters onto the red spaces in his path. Yeah, we can't make it in time. I didn't realize we were going to have to do this. I should have moved both of them over here. Whatever. It's a force of nature. Never surrender. Keep repairing fighters as needed and let him have it. hit him again. Not yet. Defeated for now. Where'd it go? So long. Guess school's back on. Better start rebuilding. Yeehaw. We drove that scaly fella off. Good thing we totally did not panic. I hope we can still get out of this base after that big armadillo crushed the door. Okay. Victory, we did it. Mission completed, Dead Meat Gulch. Medals are co collected throughout your campaign. What do they do? Well, they're shiny! The Kaiju Wars begin. You thought it would be easy being Floatio's Emperor. Then the Kaiju came. Construct a base as quickly as possible so you can rally your forces and drive the monster back.
handcrafted changes to up the challenge. Earn leaderboard score by achieving extra breakthroughs. Let's try this. Watch out, hard mode can be hard. You've been warned. We've got this. Well, we lost the tank hangar, but at least the command bunker is still okay. Hello? Did any of my seismometers go off? Uh, who is this? My seismometers! Blinking lights on the console. Ones that you don't know what they mean. Are there any? Major Danger is his name. That doesn't narrow it down. I don't think even Carl knew what most of these mean. But yeah, there's some blinking doohickeys. How, how exciting. There should be a gray data box beneath the lights. Please bring it to my lab. Who are... You need to hurry. There are more kaiju coming this way, click. That's definitely the lady they were talking about. Oh, uh, well. So that was weird. Either way, Emperor, we better get both you and this ba box back to civilization. Okay. Let's see, how bad is hard mode gonna be? Emperor, this is my lab, protect it. Khan, you're playing this mission on hard mode, are you? You realize it will be harder this time, yes? Don't you have other kaiju to defeat, zoning bylaws to draft? Well, all right then, just don't say I didn't warn you. We have seismic activity in this area. Okay, so we get money from all of these places. I don't seem to have enough to do anything yet. I probably shouldn't have hit both of those. It's a gorilla. A really big gorilla. Okay, so he's going there. I guess I'll put an army base here. I don't think I can do anything else. Oh, Emperor, it's you. I thought I had changed my number for hard mode. Well, never mind. Look, I'm even busier this time. Remember, the monster moves towards the nearest building. Use this to predict its path. And stop giving that ape bananas. I bet that's why it keeps coming back. Hey, didn't you love those medals we got for beating this stage on normal? No, we didn't do it. I skipped that. Yeah, that's right. I got one too. Anyway, monsters lose an extra movement point from stepping on tanks. Park tanks in the monster's path, or in the monster's way on turns, when it will make the difference between reaching a building or not. I'll leave it to you. That new metal isn't going to shine itself. Okay, we can't do nothing. There's nothing left, that's right.
Okay, I guess I'll deploy a tank. <laughs> that ain't enough movement. Okay, it's not gonna go back to the root road, I assume. We could go there and attack. No, we go here. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, it's been slowed. Okay, from there, I'm gonna build another army base down here. They didn't do anything. Okay. It's gonna go there. We'll have to end turn. Gonna get slowed by the tanks. Barely any money. Fifty fifty chance. I 
That's good enough, I suppose. Last time those things didn't even defend themselves, though. Yeah, they didn't either that time. This ain't looking good, but we're doing it. This thing has a ton of health. Breakthrough? What does that mean? What was the breakthrough thing? I don't know. We're about to die. All right, you know what? We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna... We're gonna go back to normal. <laughs> All right, we gave it a shot. We tried it. Well, we lost the tank hangar but at least the command bunker is still okay. Hello? Did any of my seismometers go off? Okay, we, we did this bit already. Let's see how, what this is like compared to hard mode. We need an army base or airfield to deploy troops, and this region doesn't have one. Bases cost 12, so we'll need more money. Emperor, save up some of that sweet tax money to build a base. It end turn until we have enough money. There he is, the big gorilla. Some buildings produce money each turn. Money can be used for deploying or repairing units and constructing buildings. Wait, what's the blue beaker? I've never seen that before. Blue beaker is science. Fill up the science meter and we earn a breakthrough, putting us one step closer to victory. So science equals victory, huh? I can dig it. Let's keep that science rolling. So we were doomed either way because we only got one of the breakthroughs out of two. We needed two and he was already here. We should have money now. Click on a foundation to construct an army base or airfield. Go an airfield this time.
You know, that might have been different advice from hard mode, but oh well. Let's see. Is the other come back? Need some advice? You called the right guy. I've served in two wars, earned two dozen of war meds medals. What's that? Why aren't I a general yet? Well, that's a long story. Don't you have a monster to fight or something? All right, advice. Tanks and fighters deal good counter damage when stepped on. Use them to attack head on. Missiles and bombers have a low counter but high attack. So use them to attack the monster's rear. You got all that? Because I got medals that need shining. Oh, um, hello? Who gave you my personal number? Did that ridiculous muscle man figure call out... Figure out call display? Well, I'm an expert on kaiju. They always move towards the nearest building. If they reach a building, they stop. They like to rampage in the wreckage. Um, admit it, you would too if you were a kaiju. Okay, I guess we're done. Military. That I've just tore down Palacio Tower. <laughs> that, am I reading this right? Is that actually the name of this place? Is Palacio? Oh my god! I don't know, man. All right, I'm telling you, Khan. This means war. Select our new base to deploy a unit, and let's get them. Our unit roster is global for the whole mission. Our bases are just the deployment points. As our roster has both army and air force units, we'll eventually need an army base and an airfield to deploy them all. By the way, I'm your advisor. That means I give great advice. Click on the advisor portraits in the bottom left to speak with your mission advisors. They're tough, but we can hurt them. Defeat the monster to earn breakthrough. Earn enough breakthroughs and we win the mission. Okay, how do I want to do this? This might be a mistake, but I'm building the base down there.
Okay. Start putting tanks over here. Okay, this is kind of trouble. If I make the bomber, he's just gonna still destroy this place, right? If I can't move the bomber. Well, yeah, that was much easier. It's retreating. That's right, Ron. We did it. Drinks are on me tonight. We just earned a breakthrough. Fill up the breakthrough stars in the bottom left panel by earning science or defeating monsters to win the mission. Is there another one? It's coming back. I see. I understand. We need to actually fill up that bar. There, we did it. We win now. Okay, that was a little goofy. Wait, what happened? Why is it leaving? It is leaving because I managed to complete my anti-kaiju serum. I gave it to one of my grad students to administer to the monster just now. Oh, was that the kid who ran by carrying the huge banana? The what? The giant banana. He said it was important. We hung it from the balcony of the last ruined building. Well, I suppose at least it worked. Please come to my lab straight away. We have much to discuss. Okay. Breaking news. Just minutes ago, the famous Flotio Tower office complex collapsed underneath the 300-foot gorilla that was climbing it. In the waterfront district, a giant lizard-shaped monster was spotted chasing after a food truck. Please stay calm and remain indoors unless your building is falling down around you. That's just a cropped image of Godzilla, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Emergency measures. In a remote region on the Floatio coast, a kaiju has been sighted dangerously close. The mysterious doctor's lab. Hold out as long as you can and evacuate when the monster gets too close. The lab looks like the place. Nice electric fences, huh? Good, you're here. I'm Dr. Emmerich Wagner. PhD, sensor data. Now please. Uh, well, pleased to meet you, two and all. 
Were you expecting more pleasantries? This city is in great danger and I am, or I suppose we are, the only ones who can save it. <laughs> yeah, let's skip that. Begin the mission. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's start the city saving action. Yes, but remember, the priority is completing the my anti-kaiju serum. If the kaiju gets too close to my lab, we'll have to evacuate. I'll have my grad students on standby. They're used to helping me more anyway. Or was that move? Your lab, Doc, the tutorial mission was very clear that the monster always targets the closest building. What makes you think it will come for you? I have my suspicions. Just be ready for anything. Emperor, this is my lab. Protect it. We've already got bases here. We can start rolling out our troops right away. Picking up seismic activity in this area. Right, right around here. So I could potentially put a tank right there. Click on my lab to evacuate when the monster gets too close. Move my truck near a harbor, and I can switch to a boat that moves immediately. We can change vehicles at army bases and airfields too. Just make sure they don't have a unit on them. As long as I can get to a different lab safely, I can conduct my work. Kaiju's tail swipe ability will kill one unit that's not in its path each turn. Kaiju's path means a red shaded tiles where it might step. Click on the Kaiju to view this. You can also look for danger icons next to the Kaiju to see where the ability can strike. that con a dark project will occur every turn some sinister force must be helping the kaiju Okay, we got first breakthrough. Those red locks in the lower left are our security. If it gets fully canceled, the Kaiju will find my lev and head straight for it. 
Okay. If security reaches zero. A breach occurs. Well, we pretty much have the entire arsenal already out. Okay, it n almost knows where we are. The kaiju, the kaiju just crushed a lookout, which was providing security. Load on the kaiju and protect other security buildings to delay the enemy from finding the dock. He's for sure coming to this building. I could do this. Okay, he knows where we are. Breach has occurred. The enemy has overcome our security. Red alert, we've got a breach. There is no need to panic. You can evacuate if the monster gets too close. Call me on the advice panel if you need to learn more. Does it actually have that much movement? I mean, it's showing its path, but it should only have three movement.
really where to move these guys that I'm wondering about. He's going to get slowed no matter what from these, so maybe he's only going to be able to move two instead of three. So he'll either be like one, two, one, two, one, two, or one, two. So we should be safe if I go like here. Theoretically. Bomber or fighter? Fighter, I suppose. We'll get the bomber next turn. So the movement was a lie? No. Moon was not a lie. It can just stop there. Yeah. Doomsday clock. Kaiju's recover eight health. Something. Doomsday clock plus eight health. How is that fair? You cannot overpower it. Just do whatever you can to slow it down. Okay, it's got four movement now, so it can make it there. Dr. Wagner becomes hidden when she boards a transport, but the lab she was in is still being targeted by the Kaiju. Your truck can move immediately, transfer to faster vehicles like a boat or plane by moving next to a harbor or airfield. Move your truck onto the harbor and switch to a boat. Boats can only move on water. Start moving your boat towards the coastal lab. There we go, everything's out. Yep, Doomsday Clock is doing its thing. And it grips the city as Dr. Wagner is not in a lab working on her anti-monster serum. No science or money is produced. That's rude.
Okay. We're doing it. I'm just gonna keep it surrounded and bombard it. Okay, doesn't know where we are now. Okay, we got the second breakthrough, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna have to move to another one. In fact, maybe the best thing to do would be before this runs out, evacuating and moving to this one down here. If that reset resets this, maybe it does. He's going to destroy the pier next. We're still a ways from that bar filling up. Okay, he's going all the way over there. Damn tail swipe. Okay, only one left. Let's see if my plan works. I mean, it sure doesn't seem like it did it. It <laughs> might have been more detrimental than anything. Yes, panic grips, whatever. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Okay, so maybe it did work. A breach has occurred. The enemy has overcome our security. Oh, 
That kinda sucks, though. No, what is this? This is so much worse. This is so much worse. He knows he knows exactly where they are. It wasn't just at the lab now. This seems busted. Well, get to doing science, Doctor. Oh, we're gonna win. There's no way it gets to us before we finish it. Okay, military time. So we'll put tank in its way. Maybe I should have built more tanks last turn, but it's fine. We're gonna win anyways. There we go. We did it. Well, that wasn't so bad. Easy for you to say when your workplace wasn't smashed to pieces. I assure you, you were in no real danger whatsoever. I don't think my getaway van driver would agree. <laughs> we didn't do it by turn 12. Okay, Khan, it's time we named the Kaiju. All right. You want to give the Kaiju a weird name? I've assigned a scientific name to that powerful aquatic furry Kaiju. It is Alpha Zarus Prime. Alpha what now? That's a terrible name. Emperor, don't listen to her. That name's got no style and doesn't... <laughs> doesn't represent the beast at all. It should obviously be called Harry Armadillo. Have you ever seen an armadillo, Major? 
Yeah, that really big one. It looks nothing like an armadillo. It's gonna get a nickname no matter what. It may as well be from me. What do you think, Emperor? Alright, we're gonna name it something stupid. There, it's Mr. Awu. Yes, Mr. Awu it is. Project Kaiju. Word of the Kaiju attacks has spread. The world is mobilizing its efforts, allowing you to enact powerful projects of your own. But beware of surprise attacks by new Kaiju. Okay. Emperor, it's clear our present forces are insufficient. Whoa. Are you serious, Doc? Our tanks have driven them off each time. And how much longer can you keep this up? Every time they attack, we lose valuable infrastructure. It takes more than just tanks to win a war. We need supplies, or didn't they teach logistics at Officer Academy? I must admit that missed that day. What's your great idea then? I've come up with a number of special projects. On short notice, we can build temporary harbors, collect emergency taxes, and gather extra science personnel. We'll need to muster not just the army, but the air force, navy, police, emergency responders, and even civilian volunteers. Civilians? The army is here to protect civilians, not... Snack? snack -rifice them? Oh, it's because they're gonna get eaten. Got it. These are their homes being destroyed, their families being killed. Many are willing to help however they can. Can't say I like it, but I admire their gumption. Glad that's settled because seismometers are picking up a disturbance. Let's put these projects into action. Yes, incoming kaiju. Emperor, this is my lab, protect it. You've got a choice of three projects each turn. Don't worry, if they all look good, the ones you don't pick now can come back in future turns. Well, that's no good. Doctor, you're gonna have to evacuate, like, right now. So it's gonna go to here, then here. So we should be safe if we go over here. Safer than if we go over there. Three dollars to construct a lab. Destroy or repair a unit for free. Or deploy, or... Yeah, okay. Construct a harbor for free. Next to the ocean. The world's smallest pond. Okay. We don't have money to do anything else. Thinking of seismic activity in this area. Do I evacuate now or wait for it to show up? I don't know. Deploy or repair a unit for free. Deal three damage to the monster. Pay three dollars to construct a lab. I don't think we need any more labs right now.
All right, so we can't actually use that one. We don't have a place to build it, so we couldn't do it. That's a new one. Gad Zooks, a burrowing kaiju tunneling through the hills. Fascinating and also extremely close to my lab. Emperor, I hope you evacuate us safely. Remember, evacuation vehicles can be chained if you have army bases, airfields, or harbors in the right location. Where to build this thing where it's not going to get totally smashed? I select this one. Please work. It doesn't work. When a kaiju first appears, click on it to examine its abilities and just your strategy. Hill slows awkward units. Click on projects to see your projects. Each one can be played once per mission. They don't reshuffle unlike the enemy dark projects, which is totally unfair if you ask me. Come on, I get it. No money, gotta get it in the thing. Okay. Construct an airfield for free. That seems pretty good. I could put one like over there. Or over here. Free airfield. No money to actually do anything there. Ooh, we're not getting much money from this place. Yes, it's going after that. Gain eight dollars. Construct a lab. Hmm. Give me the money. Security's going down. Well, we already got one breakthrough, so we're pretty much guaranteed to win. So all we're gonna have to do is get on the boat and swoop over to this one. 
Wow, you just do this. Gain three science. That's a zero damage. Carapace does nothing to it. I fucked up. I was trying to get to that square. That actually, that actually has done, that's actually a problem. Free science. Every science point is closer to a win, so why not? Gaining health, and it doesn't even need it. Unless we can do damage with the bomber. Yeah, why am I- why would I not pick the free science? This is like guaranteed my win. Right, who cares what it's doing over there? It'll never get to us in time. One kaiju moves twice next turn, huh? Who cares? We win. Thanks to the support of our project, this area is secure. Yes, but why do the available projects change each turn? Almost like you just grab the files at random and throw them on the emperor's desk. Oh, I see. We did it. I've examined the tunneling kaiju further and have determined its scientific name is Duggar Munder? Achieve projects, play projects during missions to add them to the archives. Complete by turn seven. Okay. Why do you always get to decide on scientific names? I think you're just making them up on the spot. Because I'm a scientist, that's why. I have to always publish the first journal paper on each kaiju, too. Even scientists do first dibs, huh? Well, Dugamunder sounds like a disease. How about Tunnelmeister? Makes it way more clear what he's all about. Too late. I've already uploaded a preprint manuscript to the Kaiju Life Journal. I don't know, man. I kind of like Tunnelmeister. Tunnelmeister it is. In a hidden valley away from public eyes lies a top secret weapons testing ground, but the kaiju have found it. Use cutting edge experimental weapons to drive them off. I've got bad news. The military loses. We're taking our piling up losses. I read that wrong. The military losses were taking your piling up. It's almost like purposefully getting your tanks stepped on leads to higher casualties. Anyways, we're completely out of troops. 
out of fancy toy jets and tanks already. How can that be? The military spending in this city is outrageous. Surely we have more. Well, each F-15 fighter jet costs 87.7 million and each tank costs 6 million. Not to mention the bases lost carrying the three. We've probably burned through several billion dollars of hardware. Your math skills are surprisingly impressive when involving military hardware. So long as math problems don't involve a weird ass X's and Y's, I'm good. That, that is a text box written not in the voice of this character, but of the developer that made this game. <laughs> that is for sure. But anyways, we need more troops, and I have an idea where I might find some. Wait, did he just run off? Well, we can manage without him for the moment, Khan. We have a few surprises of our own in the lab. We might be impressed by what bored grad students can achieve in their spare time. Ah uh, yes, seismic activity. Emperor, this is my lab, protect it! This hidden valley doesn't have any money or bases, instead we'll use experimental weapons. Select an experimental weapon as a project and then click on a lab to deploy it. Okay. Reduce deployment time of all experimental Waiting deployment by two. Um... Experimental Freeze Bray attacks slow kaiju. Ah, is that a new model? Select a lab and we'll get to work on it. Hmm, interesting design. Deploying this experimental weapon will take some time. Okay, that it? Oh, there he is, Mr. Awu. Can you see the wires? Experimental weapons will take time to deploy, and each lab can only work on deploying one weapon at a time. Luckily, the secret weapon project can speed that up. Play it once we have weapons being prepared. Our experimental weapons are powerful, but they can still be destroyed. If that happens, select a lab to begin redeploying them. Oh, were you expecting the Major here? Let me do an impression of him. Holy cow, watch out for the Kaiju's tail. Against that ability, we better attack head on, yeehaw! Our units might get stepped on, but at least they'll deal their counter damage and die gloriously for our city, or for their city. How was that? Maybe my accent was a bit off. Okay. So can I add another one to this lab? Experimental hovercraft. Shielding can deflect one hit. Experimental Transformer Fighting Jet. Wow, five turns? That's bad. Oh 
Okay. Secret weapon. Just reduce deployment time of all experimental weapons. Experimentals awaiting deployment by two. Okay, very strange how that works. Okay. Anti-ground laser? Look at this. Did I not? Oh my god, I didn't start this one yet. That's even worse. That's real bad. Get over there. Why is it not going? There you go. At least we're gonna get to see what the uh, the ice ray does next turn. Okay, we got the mazer. Minus one move, that's it. Okay, when first hit transforms into a robot, just go here. Okay, where'd the, where'd the robot go? Down but not out. Gun cross robot, here we go. Okay, that's making the last one. Okay, he's beating it up.
Just gotta have the mech keep attacking it from behind. Where did the ice cannon go? Did the ice cannon just like run out of charges? It was probably the tail swipe that destroyed it. We ain't doing so good. counter instead of being destroyed. Okay. Well, the cannon was pretty much the one we needed. We did it! Barely! It's retreating! Hey, I'm back! Holy moly, you've been holding out on me? Why didn't you tell me we have secret weapons? Do you trust me to command them? Right, don't answer that. Good call. Ace tank, ace missiles, ace AA. What is all this? We're unlocking all kinds of stuff. Was that all like the tutorial? Are we now? Spend upgrades to upgrade your ace units. Or is this like now we're in the real game? That was just the extended, extended tutorial. Uh, let's see, well... So that's what we're using the metals on. Understood. So I could give them counter. Three medals for speed. Speed is pretty useful.
There. The tank is upgraded as much as it can be. Mountain of Doom. Loatio's famous Mount Fumi volcano was long thought dormant. Now it's spewing fire and ash and something more. So yeah, that's good incentive to go back and do the hard one, the hard mode ones though, to get the extra medals. I'm back and I've brought help. Oh, wonderful. The peace, quiet, and lack of incessant gunfire was starting to annoy me. Wait, what? You held off the kaiju with no money and no bases? I don't know how those experimental weapons are legal, but let's pack them up and roll them out. That's right, we didn't even pay the interns. That's why we didn't have to spend any money. They're probably... They're prototypes and extremely limited. All remaining experimental weapons must be used sparingly. Good thing I brought help after all that. Meet the Aces, my war buddies, and Emperor's finest. Major, we don't have an Emperor. Well, if we did, they'd certainly be his finest. Me and them, we've shared beers and war stories, and we can count on them through thick and thin. They're so elite. If they're so elite, why are their combat stats the same as regular units? Um, they're a little rusty, and maybe all those beers have added up. But I assure you, if we invest our metals in them, they'll match any of your experimentals, Doc. We'll see about that. Emperor, the Mount, Fu the Mount Fumi volcano is acting strangely. We should investigate now that we have fresh troops. Emperor, this is my lab. Protect it. Okay, it's gonna come from there. Or I could construct a lab. Let's construct a lab. So if it comes out of here, where's it going to go first? It looks like it's going to be... 50-50. Who it comes to first. But let's just do... Anti-air. That is one big flying turkey flying for such a large creature. Must be tiring. If we can hurt it, I bet he'll land. Whoa, did that thing just come out of that volcano? And it's glowing. What does that mean? The glow means it's about to unleash an ability. Click on the monster and hover over it. It's ability icons to learn more. Uh, this? Eruption. Every four turns, all... Destroy all adjacent units.
Hmm. All Gronians gain one attack and speed this turn. Gain three science. Or the freeze ray. Give me the three science. We're cheesing our way to the finish. If you can reduce this kaiju to its last health bar, you can force it to land. The kaiju's eruption ability also has a countdown. Keep an eye on it to minimize casualties. Missiles in AA do more damage to flying targets, but tanks and bombers can't shoot them at all. Counter damage works no matter what, though. Wow, I picked right. Construct an airfield for free, that would be nice. Emergency tax would also be nice. Let's do the airfield though. That's such terrible luck. It's totally going to go right for my base. For my, my alternate lab. another airfield okay well could do the freeze ray Maybe it'll get done in time. It's a 50-50. This turn will go here. And then it's 50-50 which one of these it goes to. Unless I get a free base build and I, and I free base build over here to draw it away. an army base for free. There, we have successfully tricked it. I guess that's all we can do.
Okay, did not choose the... That's odd, actually. Oh no, never mind, it's not odd. This one was closer all along. I didn't even need to build that base. In fact, that base might now be putting me in jeopardy. Could do another airfield to keep it away from because if it goes here then this would be one two three four one two three four five so it should still stay away free money Ace tank. All right. Dr. Wagner's exposed. Okay, stuff is happening. Emperor, we have a crisis. Our units can't move through a crisis. And the kaiju will heal two if they step on one. Then a unit will resolve the crisis but also destroy that unit. Can I just ignore the crisis? There we go, Mr. Freeze. Or I could do this, I could remove all crises, crises. I did it. All we can do. We have three movement, so it can't get anywhere near us. Okay, deploy or repair a unit for free. All ground units gain extra movement. All ground units, huh? That turkey must be hurting bad. He's too hurt to fly and now is a ground target.
Okay, feel like I'm never gonna get to him in time with the ice ray. before it even gets to us. Yeah, it's fine. Correct an airfield? Sure, why not? Probably should have used this. But it's too late now. We'll just make a free airfield. That monster's crawling to us. And we win. Con, I haven't analyzed the lava flow from Mount Fumi. Those eruptions were not natural. The volcano itself has somehow been tampered with. Wow, so whoever we are up against has built a volcano base? We're falling behind, Emperor. We need a volcano base, too. I should never have encouraged him. Fighting that fiery buzzard sure makes me hungry. Up for a turkey sandwich, Doc? Yes, this dynamic between them is gonna go on for the rest of the game, I can tell. Some of us have better things to do than stuff our faces, such as naming the flying fiery kaiju. Let's call it Hell Turkey. Done. Now, do we have time to eat? More closely related to a pterodactyl than a turkey. Pteris ignis is its scientific name. Turkey, can't wait for our next encounter. Maybe we'll get to eat it. Enough said. All right, I think that's where I'm gonna call it. Definitely an interesting concept for this game. I'm curious to check out the map editor to see how extensive that is, but, but all right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.